Hello friends, let's talk about dash cams. I'd like to start this video by saying this is not a sponsored video. I just like dash cams and I believe my followers should try and use dash cams wherever they can because it will save you from being blamed for stuff that you didn't do. Uh, yes, I've had dash cams in my cars for over 10 years now and there's been a few instances where it's been <laughs> just a lifesaver. Uh, the most notable one was, I don't know, about eight years ago, I had a lady that just backed into me at speed in her crappy old Nissan Xterra uh, and then called the police and claimed that I'd crashed into the back of her and she was, oh my neck, my neck. And the cops came and took her statement and then came to talk to me and said, what's up dude, what, how'd you crash into this woman? And I was, <laughs> let me show you a little video. Yep, and I connected my dash cam to my phone and I showed him the video and he was, oh my God, <laughs> you should hear the fantasy story she's telling. I said, yeah, I thought so. Anyway, she got arrested, she got prosecuted, thank goodness, because otherwise it was her word against mine, the guy in the, uh, in the V8 sports car, obviously driving too fast, and the old lady in the, uh, in the yellow Xterra, uh, innocent as always, so yeah, thank goodness for the, for, the, uh, for the dash cam, that saved me that time, and it's been useful for other instances as well. I was even witness to someone else's accident and I get provided the uh, dash cam footage. So yeah, big fan of having a dash cam in your car. However, people do have concerns about having a dash cam in their car, uh, particularly Porsche owners. Um, and people have often blamed problems of my Porsches because I have a dash cam, which has never been the case. Um, and there's two concerns about having a dash cam that I want to uh, clear up. The first one is, People worry that if you're going to install a dash cam, you need to you know, cut into the wires, splice into the electrical system of the car. Uh, that is not the case. Uh, uh, Black View, which is uh, the, the type of dash cam that I use in my Porsches, uh, offer an a OBD port uh, plug, which plugs into the OBD port and provides the power both during driving and, by, and during standby, uh, so you don't have to splice in. And that, little port also has a bunch of dip switches on it so that you can uh, set the timer so the dash cam runs uh, for a set period of time and will also measure the current. So if the battery dips below a certain voltage, it'll shut the dash cam off. So that's how you get your dash cam running without splicing into wires. Uh, and a further concern, particularly for Porsche 911 owners, uh, Cayman and Boxers, and other exotic cars that have very small batteries, is running the dash cam when the car isn't running. Uh, and, and Blackview also do a, a product for that, which is this product here, uh, which is a battery pack, which only charges when the car is running and then runs the uh, dash cam for 12 hours for this model and they also have a 24 hour model as well. So that's how you get around causing any problems with your car but still having um, a dash cam in there to give you the peace of mind of recording everything that's going on around your car. Whether someone damages it or hits you or you're in an accident, there are so many reasons to have a dash cam. I cannot stress that enough. And now there's no good reason not to have one in your Porsche car as well. But today, I wanted to talk about uh, a different brand that I normally use, the Van True, and this is a new model from them called the N4, which I like. Now Van True generally operate the lower end of the market, uh, sort of $80 up to $200, and then uh, Blackview uh, operate at the higher end of the market, sort of $200 up to $500. But these two brands are starting to eat into each other's market share, which is interesting to me. Now Blackview does a sort of $110 model, uh, and Vantru, this one here that we're going to talk about today, is a $250 model. So they're eating into each other's marketplace, uh, and, and they, I love both these brands. They're both... Uh, models that I've used a lot in the past before, so I wanted to talk about them. And one of the reasons I've always liked this type of dash cam is its small cylindrical size sort of can be hidden up behind the, the rear vision mirror or other parts of the car, so it's not really noticeable. I totally dislike these dash cams that hang down, have a big screen on them, totally obvious. I want my dash cam to be hidden away and unnoticeable. Uh, and that's what I've liked about the black view as well. Uh, Vantra have started doing the same thing as you look their latest um, cameras are cylindrical as well and small. In fact, um, this N4 that we're talking about today is actually smaller than the latest Blackview, which is their LTE model. Um, and it is uh, a camera for the front, 
it has a camera for the rear as well and this one also has a camera for inside so it's a three-way resist yes three-way camera which is pretty cool uh, but let's just jump straight to it how does it compare in image quality this $250 model to my $450 model 4k black view well let's have a look here is the front view from my 4k black view today going down the highway and here is the front view from the N4 Vantru as you can see <laughs> there's not a lot of difference the quality is excellent, yes. As usual, I've overpaid for a product that really doesn't do anything better. Um, yeah, the, the 4K on the Blackview is kind of a waste of money. I would just get the, the, the HD model if I bought it again. Uh, and that's what the uh, Vantru does, it's HD, and that's pretty much all you ever need uh, because the 4K isn't any better. And the rear camera, as you can see, also excellent quality uh, from the Blackview, but just as good from the van true and then the bonus shot of the interior <laughs> and of course you guys probably didn't know that I used to be the lead singer for Toto <laughs> anyway so yeah image quality is fantastic um, obviously the my $450 one is excellent but I'd say this is just as good and what about at night Nick well here is the black view 950 at night pretty clear image quality and here's the Vantru N4 at night in fact the Vantru has a lot less noise than the expensive Blackview but it does show some rings around bright lights and the rear camera also pretty good quality for both but I would say the N4 Vantru uh, takes it again in image quality and here's the interior look at that guy he's so much better looking in black and white don't you think yes so the image quality is excellent it's all you really need uh, and it's nice having the three-way and it's nice having the extra screen of course there are some differences um, the Blackview cameras use Wi-Fi to connect to your phone so if you want to view what you've recorded at any time you just connect your phone to the Wi-Fi of the camera and then you can view it whereas the Vantru yeah, you need to view it on the little screen on the back or pull the card out uh, and plug it into another device and view it that way. So certainly I think the Blackview is a little more convenient from that point of view, but for about half the price, <laughs> you really can't beat this fan through. It is amazing, it is amazing. Uh, the other difference is the Blackviews attach uh, on the camera directly to the windscreen, whereas the Vantru uses this little sticky um, sucker cup, which means it's easy to get on and off, but it's a little more cumbersome uh, when it comes to the wires and so forth because the the power wire comes out the top here and the wire for the rear camera comes out the side here so there's a little bit of spaghetti going on there whereas the black view is a lot tidier so the question people always ask me is how long does it record for well of course it depends on the size of the SD card that you put in there most of these cameras come with a 16 gigabyte SD card which is completely useless <laughs> you need to get a much bigger card 128 or 256 uh, and can't just get any card. These cameras beat on these cards and they will fail if you just put a regular card in there. You need to get what's known as a high endurance card. Um, a couple of the manufacturers like SanDisk now do high endurance and they're specifically for this type of application where they're going in a dash cam which is a super hot environment and there's a high quality film being dumped on it all the time so uh, if you don't want your SD card to fail when you need it the most get the spend the extra ten dollars and get the high endurance card as for installing these things well um, the Vantru and the Blackview come with you know a cigarette lighter installer which is nice if you're just using it like in a rental car or someone else's car but if it's for your car you want it professionally installed you want the cables out of the way you want to forget that it's in there uh, so you should get a professional installer and my friend Eric does all my installs he is amazing not just because he's got a beard but he is a true professional he has been installing dash cams alarms radars and all the exotic cars of New England for years now and I've never seen anything but incredible results from him so yeah if you're looking to have a dash cam installed and you live in the you know New Jersey New York Connecticut area I highly recommend Eric. You can email me on this email and I'll send you his contact details. Uh, yeah, fantastic. He's put uh, dash cams 
and everything else into my cars always done a fantastic job and he does all the work for a lot of the premium dealers around here as well so yeah eric's the man if you uh, want to have something like this installed but yes the vantru n4 pretty impressive camera for half the price of the 4k camera that i currently have in my car yeah i would highly recommend this or its little brother the n2 which is just the the two-way camera without the interior um, yeah very impressive small uh, easy to use you can turn the cameras off and on the menu system super easy to follow uh, little dash cams for a fraction of the price of the really expensive ones now speaking of the really expensive ones i am going to do another video on the latest expensive one from blackview um, this is an lte model which allows you to upload directly to the cloud where you're driving but that's for another that's for another video so that's it that's the uh that's the van true n4 um, dash cam from them very impressive very impressive image quality contrast uh, and features for a very reasonable price so go get yourself a dash cam everyone uh, it'll save you sooner or later anyway thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one. Oh, before i go don't go i am going to give this one away i'm going to give this van true n4 away in the next video uh, we're going to do a video on creating the most bad taste 911 you can uh, and this is going to be the prize i'm also going to give away some some of my t-shirts um, maybe an ipad i don't know we'll see so yes have a think about how you'd, you would create the most bad taste 911 and this will be the prize i'll ship it anywhere in the world anyway thanks for watching everyone we'll see you in the next video bye then and if you're wondering where to acquire the ridiculous t-shirts that i wear in my videos they're all here in my store all your favorites uh, including offensive stamps and my rapid dry towels as well. Yes, Nick Murray t-shirts, being a little inappropriate since 2016.